Today I'd like to show you how I treat the papers that I fold with methyl cellulose. Methyl cellulose is also called MC for short is a plant derivative that can be applied to different papers and acts as a sizing or stiffening agent, making soft papers hold creases very well. I have paper in a wide variety of shapes and sizes. Some of the most beautiful use and washi papers that I have were gifts from my friend Stacy, who owns a company called Emmy Inc. in Hawaii. I have one paper from Mulberry Paper and More in a social media online giveaway. And of course I buy papers and cut them all down into different shapes and sizes depending on what I'm using them for. The process itself is fairly simple. I use a poster frame that I picked up at the Goodwill for I think $3.99. I took the poster out, so what you see here is just a piece of glass but it's in a picture frame, so the edges, the sharp edges, are protected. Some of the people, when I first learned about methyl cellulose, recommended using a piece of mirror glass. But I thought, oh, yeah, no. With my luck, I'll end up cutting myself on the edges. So I came up with this idea to just use a piece of picture glass, and it's worked really well. I wet the glass with clear water, and then I brush some methyl cellulose onto the glass as a base coat that I'll then set the paper upon. I like to keep my methyl cellulose on the thicker side. If you want, you could add more water and thin it out and just decide what consistency works best for you. But I find that this thick consistency works very well for me. I put the MC down on the glass, then I put the paper on top of the MC. When I'm treating thin strips like this, I don't worry about how I set the paper onto the glass because they're so narrow, I don't have to worry about creating air pockets, like bubbles, within the center of the paper. Any kind of bubble that would form on a narrow strip like this, I can just push out with the paintbrush as I brush on the methyl cellulose. It's a fairly simple and straightforward process. When using yuzen washi paper, which is a very heavy, thick, soft Japanese handmade paper, I don't really have to worry so much about things like bubbles or creases. But when I treat thinner papers, like Unryu paper or mulberry papers, then it becomes something that I have to be very cognizant of. Some papers will pull off the glass just fine when they're thoroughly dried. Others, like these pieces of use, and I just set down the square-shaped pieces, those tend to stick and I have to use a razor blade to remove them if I let the paper dry hard 100% to the glass. Now here I am putting down a very thin sheet of Unryu paper. It's the same process, putting the MC on the glass. I'll fill my brush with MC, and as you can see, I'm just going to brush it straight across the top of the sheet of paper. From there, I apply a little bit down the center and then brush to the left and I brush to the right to apply it and saturate it through the paper. This way I avoid creating air pockets or air bubbles in the center of the paper. And I just very slowly and carefully work my way down the paper. So it's almost like a T shape, straight across the top, then coming down the center, top to bottom. But as I do each small section, I apply the MC and push it to the left and push it to the right until the paper is saturated, which is easy to see with the Unryu paper because it really changes color. Here I'm just speeding it up because it's the same process as before. I tend to treat them and just leave them to dry overnight. I don't recommend trying to rush the drying process. I tried it once using a hair dryer, and what I found was, especially on the thicker papers, it just dried the MC on top of the paper instead of allowing it to saturate into the paper. If you do use a hair dryer, I would recommend using a low setting and keeping it a distance away from the paper. You don't want this to be a fast dry process. If you rush it, you won't have a high quality finish to the methyl cellulose. The one way I have speeded up the drying process by hours, not minutes, 
is, especially during the winter time, I'll set the filled picture frame across from the heat vent in the heater in my studio with about eight feet of distance between the front face of the heater and where I've set my paper. But it still takes hours for it to dry. Then I just fill in all of the gaps of the glass. I have so many scraps and so many sizes. It's never a problem for me to find enough scraps to fill the entire picture frame. Once I have it filled, then I will just leave it to dry out of direct sunlight. Not all of the origami papers are as color fast as people might think they are. So I keep them in a protected area away from direct sunlight and I just leave them. The next day, I use a single straight edge razor blade and I just catch the blade under a corner and very gently lift up. As you can see, some papers lift up very easily. Other papers, like this piece I'm showing you now, it did not. The paper essentially became glued to the glass. And if you try to just lift it and tear it off the glass, you'll actually tear the back off the paper. So when I'm testing an area, if it's sticking, and I can tell right away because of the tension, this piece isn't going to just pop off easily, then I very carefully keep working the razor as I gently pull the paper away from the glass until I've been able to release the entire piece of paper. It's a little more tedious if you were, say, doing a large two by three foot sheet of paper, I would definitely test it. Even an inch and a half wide strip, I can tell if it's sticking to the glass or not. So I would definitely recommend if you are doing a 24 by 36 inch sheet. Don't just treat the whole thing and leave it overnight. If you can do it in the morning and be around and watch it as it's drying, and then say when it's almost dry, like 98% dry, then you could go ahead and peel it off before it's had an opportunity to glue itself to the glass. This is an example of what happens to the paper when it sticks. You'll get these strips of paper that come off the back and if you look at the back closely, you can see the damage. You'll get these patches that tear off along the back. And this is what it looks like close up. The Unryu paper, I never have a problem removing from the glass. But you will see that shiny, clear methyl cellulose that dried along the edge. It's not something you have to be overly concerned about. I tend to just pull off as much as I can with my fingers as I'm working with it. And if there's quite a bit along the edge that I want to get rid of. I just dip my finger in water and run it along the edge and that methyl cellulose will dissolve and just disappear. So this is what I end up with, piles of paper. I take them and I am dividing them by color and I'm setting them into cellophane sleeves. I hope this tutorial is helpful to you. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments on Patreon. And if you have any special request of a video you'd like me to make to share with you how I do anything with making my origami models, please send me a message or leave me a comment on Patreon and I will do my best to get to that for you. Thank you for dropping by the Tiny Gami Studio.